when you look at the origin of the game, the Ojibwe and many of the others have a medicine uh, component to this. They have a medicine wheel that goes back to the, the heart of their religion and their, their concepts uh, of how the cycle and life works. The sticks with the circle at the top are the earliest sticks that were used. Even the Seneca and some of the other nations, Six Nations, used that style of stick before they went to the longer sticks. We're not really sure who actually invented the game, but when, when pressed a couple of times, Venom has kind of said, it appears that the, the Algonquins created the game in the valley and shared it with the Iroquois when they had their peace. The St. Lawrence River actually ends up being in the North River right near Hibbing, Minnesota here. So what the Ojibwe did is they followed that river to Minnesota. That's basically their path. And what part of their prophecy was, you're gonna go and you're gonna move to where food grows on water, which was a reference that they feel was to wild rice. And when they found the wild rice in Minnesota, they knew they were home. And what they brought with them was the game of lacrosse. In this painting, he's got a lacrosse stick in his canoe. Okay, that lacrosse stick, he took it back with him to his hometown of Bergamo, Italy, and it still sits in that museum today. And that stick is the one that is the oldest known surviving stick, and it came from Red Lake, Minnesota. Everything's a challenge cup. If you want to win the championship, you have to challenge for it and go play on their turf. And that was the way that all these cups started. So national championship, so Chicago has it, St. Paul has to say, I want to play for it and challenge and go get it. So once we got skates, started doing this, um, the only picture I could find of actually lacrosse being played on skates is actually in Montreal, but we basically played on ice. I was trying to figure out what came first, hockey or lacrosse? You know, how did that work in Minnesota? And, um, and it was lacrosse that came first. University of Minnesota says, we're gonna replace football with lacrosse, okay? Roosevelt, President Roosevelt, whose son plays on Yale, <laughs> says, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> we are not gonna do this. So Roosevelt gets three rule changes. One is to um, get a line of scrimmage. One is to make it 10 yards for a first down. And then let's take the most exciting play in lacrosse, the forward pass. No other sport at this time has a forward pass except for the sport of lacrosse. It is the only one. In, in hockey, you had to pass backwards. In soccer, you had to pass backwards. In football, you had to pass backwards. And, and a kid with a lacrosse stick, no matter what their background, is a kid with a lacrosse stick, a kid enjoying the game. When you see the kids playing each other, they don't know about all of the history or any of the problems or any of the things or their struggles or, or any of that. They're there to have fun. And when you intermix and play games, you know, that really brings, uh, you know, a big smile and a lot of fun to these kids. And it's, and it's a big deal.